How's everyone doing today? Yeah. Alright, so first I'll just tell you a few fun facts about myself. Firstly, I am third generation Mexican American. <laughs> Important words like tacos and burritos and tamales. <laughs> if anyone has ever grown up in a mostly Hispanic neighborhood, we all have a tamale lady that wakes up everybody at the ass crack of dawn just shouting tamales. She's kind of like La Llorona, but for food. Instead of coming for your children, she comes for your wallet and your waistline. <laughs> Sorry, that show. That show. That joke usually does better in Los Angeles, which is where I'm from. I know, upon first glance, when you see me, you're like, oh my god, who gave that obese toddler a microphone? No, you probably just assume I speak Spanish, but I don't. Um, but there's a reason why I only know those Spanish words, right? Because it's like survival, because Mexican food is fucking awesome. And let's be real, if there was no such thing as Taco Tuesday, I would just collapse right here from malnutrition. Um, Another f fun fact about me is I grew up with four brothers, no sisters, which was just fucking terrible. It's just way too much testosterone just wafting in the air, making me a very weird child. I distinctly remember embarrassing my little brother in front of all his little friends by scratching his head and saying, my balls itch. <laughs> Yeah, he still has not forgiven me to this day. Um, but it was terrible. Like, if I ever wanted to watch something girly like Sailor Moon or Rainbow Bright, I was forced to watch uh, Spider-Man or Batman or some man with a superpower. And I'm sorry, I'm one of those girls who does not give a shit about superheroes. My main takeaway from watching all those cartoons is like, why is Mary Jane always wearing the same outfit? <laughs> and those boots? Cute. Um, however, that one episode where like Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are like running around town being like a bunch of bad bitches, like fuck the patriarchy. Like I live for that episode, right? It was the first time that I felt seen within a man's world, and the moment that I realized I was totally by curious. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, it sucked. If I finally got one of them to play tea party with me, the tea party would suddenly turn, in, turn into a home invasion. A home invasion to where Barbie needed to give up the secret recipe to what made her tea so awesome. And if she did not give that secret recipe up, then Ken was gonna get shot in the head. That's right, Barbie. You're about to watch the only man you've ever loved die right before your eyes. Now give us the recipe. It's fucking terrible, right? So now you know. Now you know the type of person I grew up to be. So naturally, I've only ever dated white dudes. <laughs> Get it? Obviously. Um, I mean, let's be real. White guys, they dig this. On the outside, I got that spicy Latina thing going on, just like, ooh, hey, hey, hey. But <laughs> then, like, on the inside, they realize, they realize that on the inside, I'm just like them. Also a white dude. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, like, dating for you must have been, like, really easy. It's just, like, two completely heterosexual bros going out on a first date together. No, no. Not until one of the bros realizes that the other bro has a vagina. And if my childhood has taught me anything, is that having a vagina ruins everything. <laughs> For instance, I can burp the alphabet, but because I have a vagina, I'm a disgusting whore. <laughs> but if I had a penis, it would be considered a whimsical talent. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, Tide, you're just so whimsical. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh my god, I can't make it stop. Like, why am I doing this? If I were to be more anatomically correct to myself, it'd be more like this. Yeah. Ladies, you can use that on your significant other the next time they make up some lame excuse as to why they didn't take out the trash again. <laughs> 
Uh, let me give you uh, an example of how to do this, right? So you look them straight in the eye, <laughs> and you say, oh really, Steven? Cool fucking story about to fuck off and go take out the trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they will not question anything after that. <laughs> um, so let me give you an example of one of the times that my inner bro came out and just like ruined a first date. Uh, so, we're at a bar, we're getting to know each other, you know, and he's telling me, oh, I graduated from Penn State, and in order to get my business degree, I had to study one semester abroad, and he studied in the UK, and like, at this point in my life, I am like your typical California girl, never been outside my California bubble, just like, oh my god, I want to know everything. Well, okay, I'm so California that when people are like, you're gonna head west, I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I like left or right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but I was like, oh my god, I want to know everything. Tell me everything. What did you eat? So that was it. That was my only question. <laughs> but then he told me that he, he stayed in a hostel. And I was like, what? Hold up. You stayed in a hostel? I heard it's like nonstop sex parties. It's just like college kids hooking up left and right. Is that true? He was a little hesitant to answer, and I'm like, dude, come on. What countries did you conquer? <laughs> and I guess because I was speaking bro, he kind of felt uh, okay to tell me. He was like, oh, Germany, France. And I'm like, mm, not that impressive. Who hasn't conquered those countries? Know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then he was like, Colombia. I'm like, what? Hold up, you make the Colombian chick? Nice, Colombian chicks are hot. <laughs> Ladies, if at any point during the day you say, pat it, it's not lead to any of the fun, pat it, it later on in the day. <laughs> Take my advice. However, a high five after sex, completely acceptable. What <laughs> guys I love that shit. <laughs> but of course, I'm totally lying. I mean, that story is 100% true, but the guy in that story, he gave me a second chance and then he fucking married me. Yeah! <laughs> Give it up.